Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on ordering numbers. This is the third video on this topic and we're going to go through some example questions in this video. So the first one then, write these numbers in ascending order of size. Uh, so we've got 460, 346, 64, 46 and 476. So uh, there's two two digit numbers here so let's just cross out the three digit numbers and we've got 64 and 46. So looking at the first digits of both we can see that 46 is the smaller number. So we get 46, then 64. So let's just cross those out and let's deal with the ones that we crossed out before. So now we have the three three digit numbers. Uh, we've got 460 here, so that begins with 4, 346, which begins with 3, and another one that begins with 4 here. So obviously 346 is going to be the smaller one. And then we're left with two numbers, uh, 460 and 476. So if we look at the first digit, they're both fours. The second digit, we have a six. A 7 in the other one, so the one with the 6 is the smaller one, so that's 460, and then finally we have 476. So moving on to example 2, uh, we have to write these numbers in descending order of size, so we've got minus 3, 12, 18, minus 21, and 4. So descending means largest to smallest, and because we have negative numbers here, uh, we're going to just deal with the positive numbers first, as soon as we consider negative numbers to be smaller. So the positive numbers are 12, 18, and 4. We're looking for the biggest one which is obviously 18 then we have 12 then we have 4 so let's cross those out and go back to considering the negative numbers now so the more negative a number is in other words the greater the number after the minus sign uh, the smaller the number is so we've got minus 3 first and then we have minus 21 so these are now in descending order moving on to example 3 we have to write the following decimals in order from smallest to largest so this is ascending order now and they're all decimals, so we've got 0 0.6, 0 0.31, 0 0.07, uh, 1.04, and 0.998. So uh, four of these five numbers begin with zero, so the one that doesn't will cross out for now. Uh, then we go to the second digit, uh, and we've got a six, a three, a zero, and a nine. So obviously the one with the zero is the smallest, that's the 0 0.07. Uh, so let's cross that one out. Now we're left to consider the other three that begin with a zero. If we move on to the second digit, we have a 6, a 3, and a 9. So the 3 is the smallest of these, so 0 0.31 is next. Uh, so that should be a 3. So we'll cross that off. Now we're left to consider uh, 0.6 and 0 0.998. Obviously the 6 is smaller than the 9. So 0 0.6 is smaller than 0 0.998. So we'll cross these two off. And that leaves the one that we crossed off at the start, which was the largest, uh, which is 1.04. So these decimals are all now in ascending order. And the final example now, we have to order these numbers which are different types um, from smallest to largest. So this is ascending order now. So we've got two fifths, 0.45, 44.5 and seven over 20. Uh, so two fifths is equal to 0 0.4. Uh, 0.45 is obviously a decimal, 44.5%. Uh, uh, if we divide by 100, we can turn this into a decimal. That's equal to 0 0.445 and 7 over 20. Uh, now, if you're not sure how to divide by 20, what you can do is divide by 10 and then divide by 2 again. So 7 over 10 equals 0 0.7 and then 7 over uh, 0 0.7 over 2, sorry, is equal to 0 0.35. So 7 over 20 is equal to 0 0.35. So we've got four decimals now. I'll just going to re I'll rewrite them down here just so it's clear. 0 0.4, 0 0.45, 0 0.445, and 0 0.35. So uh, those are our numbers. We just have to put them in order now. Uh, so they all begin with zero. So we move on to the second digit, uh, and four, three of them begin with a four, and one of them begins with a three. So 0 0.35 is the smallest. Uh, so let's cross that off the list. Then we have. Uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, and 0 0.445. So the smallest of these three is just 0 0.4 on its own. So we can cross that off. Uh, then we have 0 0.45 and 0 0.445. Now, uh, if we go to the second digit, uh, we see that th this one here has a four and this one has a five. So the one with the four is smaller. So 0 0.445 is the smaller of these two. Then we have 0 0.45. So all that's left is to put these back into our original forms. So this was 7 over 20, and 0.4 is 2 fifths, uh, 0 0.445 was 44.5% and 0.45 was just given 
that's 0.45. So these are all now in uh, ascending order. If you're feeling ready to test yourself with some ordering numbers questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong, and so on, and it will help you prepare for your exam. Uh, so if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below, and it will take you straight there.